guys. Come on, Marcus. to uh, a player that's parents that didn't come so it's just something I gotta do because if nobody does it you know no one else is gotta do the jerseys gotta do the jerseys gotta do t-shirts oh I think I'm crazy she's laying down <laughs> Chris, he's he's really, as far as leaders go, he's really that guy that will do anything for the kids. At the end of the day, for him, it's always about the kids. For example, for me, uh, you know, as an eighth grader, at the time, my my parents couldn't afford for me to play travel ball because I've never played travel ball. And you know, he told me, "Don't worry about it. Just just come. I'll take care of you." So he was able to sponsor me throughout. Uh, my my playing days for Edge. His motto and his his life is pretty much first one in the gym and last one out, and that's something that I could always relate to with him. You know, not just not just with playing, but also trying not to only be part of one team, but just to know every single kid and every single parent, just to show su uh, support um, for the whole program. I could see how it could be very tiring and and exhausting just day to day but with all the help from the team reps um, the assistant coaches the volunteers and the parents who just come and support every single day especially on the weekends is is it's what helps us it's what pushes us through because if they could do it then you know we could too I want you here, I want you here, I want you here. Yeah. And I want you here. I mean, there's nothing hard about this right here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? 
The concept is, hey, let's put pressure. You know, if the ball's coming here, let's double team. I mean, I don't understand like what's so hard about that. Yeah. Coach Christian actually like teaches you how to become a uh, self-managed person and teaches you how what the real prepares you for the real world. I uh, play uh, played for Edge since I was in second grade, which was a long time ago. <laughs> But my first year, it was, there was a lot of people. Then uh, it started to recede a little bit, you know, as the years gone by, but more programs started to build up near the, their homes and whatever. But as Coach Christian started to put his name out there, we just see more and more people coming in, you know, wanting to play for him. He, at a young age, we were very much disciplined. You know, like, you know, just respect. You know, have to respect him, and respect your your elders, and obeying your parents, and you see yourself mature more and more as you get older, and you stay in the program. Nothing, you know, nothing's given to you on a silver platter. Um, they say only about like two percent of all college or all high school players make it to the collegiate level. <clears throat> and uh, you know what you just gotta you gotta shine in your own role and that's what makes you you know um, separate yourself from the crowd good work out there hey wanna come back in the first half man hey it's a good execution piece you know anytime we're gonna put something like that we wanna be able to attack the basket and draw the foul okay Hey, but uh, it, is, it wasn't in our favor, so it is what it is. Get the next one, all right? All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah. Hey, if you roll with me, let's go. We gotta go. Yeah, yeah, yeah but that's fun. That's fun. Spanish honor? No, okay. Oh, I thought you should. No, 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 no. In the syllabus, it said this class will be spoken 80% in Spanish. I was like, what? And I'm like, I have to give money to y'all like a <laughs> Y'all need to learn how to be fundamentally sound, dude. I know. I need a jump shot. Hell, yeah, horrible. Like, y'all need to, like, seriously, yeah. like, like the, far, the fact, like, you guys don't ever see, like, Dwayne Wade, a guy like Dwayne Wade when he takes off with two feet, or, like, uh, Westbrook when he takes off with two feet, and they're going to use their body <coughs> when they go up. <coughs> you know? Like, when you had that one hook shot, George, uh -huh. that was pretty good. Yeah, that one was good. But knowing that the guy's gonna contest you, yeah, you gotta know I, like I the change. next time, you gotta change it up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he's already telling himself, "Oh, this guy's gonna do the same shit." You know, and what you did, and guess what? He blocked your ass. <laughs> you know? It's like it's one, okay. it's one of those things. Yeah. yeah, it's a. I would say I would say go as far as a lifestyle, but it is part majority part of kids' life. Uh, weekends weekday practices and seeing the same people uh, parents hang out together um, so it's, it's it's part of the life how we how we live and how we um, how, how the kids grow uh, in, in through his teenage years in um, if you look at the investment a return on investment the money you put in it's not gonna get you the money back uh, financially in terms of a, a even scholarship in college uh, or even a, a, you know and talking about NBA program, right? that's too far. But the uh, but you know, talk, I'm talking about this uh, uh, childhood experience that he has from a child from eight, uh, eight year old to maybe 18 years old, right? So he has this same group of friends bonding together, lifetime friends, and uh, how to deal with stress levels um, and on court, and how to work with people, and how to be coachable in, uh, in work and also on court and off court. I think that's a skill that. Uh, that I invest in.